Hey, do you love video games? Well, so do I. We should be friends. But let's talk about video games for a bit, because it's the most popular entertainment medium on the planet. Although if you look at the amount of layoffs, that may not be the case much longer. Who knows how long this bubble will last. But let's keep talking about it. I had a weird 2022, 2023 where I wasn't playing too many video games, but I feel the last few months I've really been getting back into some games that I've loved and just powering through some stuff that I've been meaning to play. And I just wanted to talk about why I think people love games and why video games are loved so much. Speaking of loving things, I'd love a few plus... My brain fumbled. So the stuff that I want to talk about with regard to people loving video games, it's all kind of my own personal views on it. But if anyone has any differing opinions, I'd love to hear about that because I just think it's interesting to see why people enjoy games so much. And one of the first things that I always think of when I think of video games is just unique stories that people can tell about playing video games. I love when someone can talk about like playing a video game and they'll tell me a story about something that they feel that happened to them that is unique to them, like a gameplay experience that only they have experienced. One of my best experiences for this personally is Days Gone, where in that game there are massive hordes of zombies that you can come across. And I spent like a solid 30-35 minutes fighting what I thought to be one horde of zombies. Turned out I had somehow managed to combine two hordes of zombies and was just ring around the rosying them for like a solid 30 minutes while I tried to continuously get ammo for my bike. And I love stuff like that because it's not something that's frequently going to happen to many people. So I feel that when I tell that story, it's something that's unique that happened to me. And because I'm one of the few people who've played Days Gone, even though it's a great game, I can still remember when Skyrim released and one of my buddies in college was telling me about how he came across, you know, those like mammoth creatures that the giants have as pets. How he was just going about his business and just one of those just rose up into the distance, turned 30 degrees and then descended back down again. And I can literally like picture him telling me that story of when he played the game. And I just really love being able to like share those experiences with people and having people share those experiences with me. And as well as that, you come across people online who like share these really heartfelt posts where they talk about how they came across a certain game at the right time in their life that really helped them through a tough time. I think it's really nice that people can share their experiences as well as have like video games help them through their experiences. And I, I think that's great. The second thing I really love about video games is that people can take what they want from them. Like some people love story games. That's me. I love good stories. I love characters. I love good themes. I love all that juicy stuff where you get into it story-wise. But then other people, they just love playing a game for a challenge. You know, those so Soulsborne people get good and all that. And then some other people just want to vibe, you know? They just want to go into something like Stardew Valley and they just want to feel the vibe of the place and just, you know, go around and tint their crops. That's also me. And I think that's something that's really unique compared to like movies or TV shows or whatever, where obviously movies and TV shows, there can be a certain amount of interpretation, but you're all going to experience the same thing. Whereas with a video game, you could give two people with different tastes the same game and you'll be looking at completely different gameplay footage of how, like, how they take what they take from the game. I feel that Stardew Valley is a good example here. You can have people who will go in and make their farm look super nice and just super, like, good and be freaking great. And then you'll have other people who will be like, nah, I gotta speed run the community center and I gotta get to the mines and I gotta do this, I gotta combat everything, I gotta do, like... I think it's very interesting that people can take that stuff from the same game. They can take two completely different experiences of the same game and still enjoy it. And the final thing that I'll mention for this video about loving video games, just good old escapism. You just get it, want to get out of your head, play some games. There's nothing better than just settling down after work, or just after a crappy day, or even a good day, just settling down, getting into a game, getting into a gameplay loop, and just shutting the world out. Sometimes we need that, you know? And then sometimes you play Stardew Valley for 40 hours in two weeks because it's addictive. This guy, this guy just did that. Yeah, I have addiction problems. But before my crippling Stardew addiction, I was also playing SnowRunner for a while and I frequently just went to sleep thinking about how I'm going to transport long logs across the state of Michigan and get to where it needs to go. And sometimes it's just fun to just have those like random thoughts in your head that take your mind off everything else. Instead of having the dread of work tomorrow, it's just, oh, how am I going to get logs from A to B? Man, what a tough life I lead. I think games just offer such a good way to inhabit an entirely different world to elicit a challenge or an emotional response or just to subject you to a vibe that you'll enjoy, you know? 
Or maybe a vibe you won't enjoy. A lot of people enjoy horror games. So yeah, those are three very brief reasons that I've outlined as to why people may love video games. There's definitely a lot that I have missed. I'm sure that people, if anyone watches this video, will be like, hang on, he missed this point and this point. And if I did miss those points, why don't you share them in the comments? I genuinely love to see different points of view on this as to why people may find their own love of video games to be different from my own. Again, personal opinion, but yeah, I'd be interested to hear that. Anyway, I better go feed my crippling Stardew Valley addiction. I'll see you.